Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we are back to Tomb Raider. So, having just killed Alex in a few episodes back, Alex dying because he left the group, basically I didn't kill him, I've decided to leave the group to search something, and now I've got to figure out a way to get over there. I see these, and I see you can pull these. So let's try this. Well, I guess I can make that jump. Uh, they're hitting specific points, so. Nope, 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 nope. That's a big nope on my part. It is also a nope to gravity according to that piece of garbage. <laughs> hey, at least it disappeared after a while. At least it didn't sit there for me to stare at and laugh at. I've seen worse bugs. Little visual bugs. Not something I can really... Shall I pull this back? I think I need to. Don't I? Again, if she was using this device, it wouldn't pull anything her direction. It would pull her straight downward and fall on her face. There we go. Made it. And I don't think there's any collectibles. I think there's only a couple more collectibles left in this area, and I know where they all are. I could be wrong. Certainly I could be wrong. Interesting here, we're climbing on a pipe, we're gonna jump up. We're going to jump up and climb on craggy rock. We're gonna climb up and get salvage. Then we're gonna jump over this way. Of course, we could have just side jumped on the craggy rock and missed the salvage. What the hell are we doing here? It's fucking Odie, is that cool? Calm down. We got orders from the man. No one goes in or out. They kill anything that sets foot in there. <laughs> Human. Help! You're done. What the hell? Really? <laughs> <laughs> What was that? Every single time. It's like every freaking time. What the hell are we doing here? It's fucking Odie, is that cool? Calm down. We got orders from the man. No one goes in or out. They kill anything that sets foot in there. <laughs> you been listening to the OMS crew? Yeah, they said some guys went in there on a salvage job and never came out. They're fucking with you, brother. Those bozos like to make shit up. Don't believe any of them. Okay. It kind of sucks that they can't have her just push them over when they're close enough to an edge. That's, that's a 2015 type of technology you could implement just detect if somebody is standing next to an edge and if it is just push him. Oh we're gonna deal with Oni. I guess we are. Even with all the weapons I have, I can't for a second believe that I'd be able to take out an Oni. Whatever they are, they seem magical and probably impervious to bullets.
a little bit more wall climbing. They could have put a little bit more of this in the game. We don't do too much of it. But I am getting to the point too where I'd say maybe they should have just streamlined this game a little bit more. Even though it's, it is kind of just all a straight run path. The fact that it pretends like it's it's trying to be an open world uh, type thing with maybe side missions and side quests and there really aren't any of that. And there really aren't any side actions at all. If they had taken all the upgrading and the uh, collection stuff out of the game. Maybe. I don't think really though that that's the problem. I think the problem is just how it was cut together. The quantity of story here isn't too much or too little. It's just, it's, it's all over the place. It's part of the problem. It's, like, it's really all over the place. I have to admit it's beautiful, even with all the wrecks. Why did she say that? If we had just started in one area and na more naturally progressed to another area and instead of being shuttled from one area to another then back and over again, we go we've gone in circles quite a lot. Here's a great example. We were in the outside and now we're going to be thrown right back inside. Right. Now you cannot destroy this. At least. Maybe you can. Or call. Oh, shoot. I recall spending hours and hours trying to get through there and not being able to figure out how to do it because I had forgotten you could use the grenade launcher against those things. It's so ridiculous. That is completely ridiculous. I'm, I'm literally irritated about something I did two years ago because I figured it out now. I, I really gave up. I think, I don't think I ever got that. And if that was the only place to get the shotgun part, that probably means I never got the full shotgun part. But I remember wandering around for hours and hours trying to figure out how to get there. There's another section. From cliffside, shoreside, to cave, to facility in like three steps. Can't say after we discover the tomb. They came. The Oni. First the lights went out. Then 
Then the screaming started. Was it us or them? That horrible sound. It still rings in my head. They wore the armor of my ancestors. They, they, they cut us down with ancient blaze. Gunfire, shouting, blood. We couldn't stop them. Everything turned to chaos. And then silence. They were gone. Why did they leave? Why didn't they kill us all? Captain Osaka is in command now. We... We are leaving the base. But not the island. We are heading inland. To the monastery. There is no other way. We must follow the Oni. All of us. If we can't control the star, we must destroy it. But I know. We... We are all going to die. Hmm. So apparently you're completely safe from getting shot while you're reading documents. Hmm. I mean, we're totally in fight mode. And we can't... Save. I think we missed some flags. Now that I think about it too. Uh, there was a flag challenge. And I missed. You hear that? I'll go look around. We need backup. What the hell? Oh. Yeah, there was only two of them. It's a bad idea to open that doorway. The whole sound system here is just a problem. I've never... Never particularly wanted a noise limiter based on what I could, limiting what I could and couldn't do. Sun killer, new challenge. One of five totems destroyed. can't get to it going up, I'll have to go downward. Oh, the elevator is jammed. That sets off an alarm. I can't go this way. This is a pretty good puzzle. I remember doing this one. So we gotta go up here and de jam it. Hmm. I'm on the right track. Just need to figure out a way to drop the elevator with more force. Start simply by unlocking this door. Yeah, I guess that that's right. There are two challenges that I've failed to accomplish. Which pretty much means I'm taking another step towards giving up on all that. Command to operative. Stop. Trinity is concerned. Stop. Acquisition of star phenomenon unacceptable. Stop. 
Sabotage of access operation imperative. Stop. Hmm. So they had a spy with them. At least that's what I take that to mean. even looking at there's a collectible but it's way somewhere else yeah so don't worry about that just need to loosen three more and that elevator will fall was that a, a big old mist of blood when she grabbed that There's more to this. I know there's a whole lot more to this. Got to pry those other parts loose. Okay, so I'm just trying to... Yeah, see that redness? Strange. Like she's cutting her hands in a... So we want to get up. How can we get up? How can we get up there? Well, let's try this. <laughs> so, the game has really gone from being ridiculously, uh, from her being a little weak, now it's showing her to be ridiculously strong because there's no way with a pry, uh, with a climbing axe that you would be able to break that. No way. I know, suspension of disbelief is hard for me sometimes. This thing seems to work in the bottom. Even with only two running. Two down, two to go. Now I want to get up. And we're getting creepy music too. Like there's gonna be a scare. There, there's been no scares in this game though. It's really missing. It really is. Now I think about it. Even I'm not okay. saying this should be a One more to go. horror game or anything like that. I'm just saying there has been an incredible, for as long as this game has gone, gone on, an incredibly low amount of s jump scares or any kind of scares. They could have had one, two. This sounds like it's building the tension, but it really isn't. Okay.
So I think what I want to do is press this button, jump down, run and axe this. Do a thing, come on, come on. There. Does that hurt? how thick that metal is. I think that did the trick. Jump down this way. Are there any more? Almost certainly there's something hidden around here and I'm not seeing it. I'm not gonna bother looking for it. One of those sun statues. We can just jump down now. Open this. Take this. Fortunately, we don't need this to work. Hey, anyone there? Man, fuck this place. What the hell am I even doing here? That's a good question. Let's make some noise while we're in the middle of a fight. Yeah, that doesn't alert him. Yet, seems like even the slightest movement. So if we did this with the sniper and this I think that's it. There's a totem, so maybe there wasn't a totem in that other area. Were these gifts for the ancient rulers of Yamatai? Or was there some kind of battle here? You can kind of feel how this area might have been originally thought they were going to make it larger. This is kind of a big area that doesn't or have a lot in it. Not too many of these lockers. It would have been too many if every single locker could have been opened this way. Alright. get through here then. This way. If you can't blow up away, just crawl. Two or three GPS caches. So they're definitely treating this like a big open area section when it really isn't. trick on both sides. So we missed a GPS location. I think we're coming back that way. 
So it shouldn't be a big problem. Hopefully we're coming back this way. Otherwise... Yeah, we're coming back this way. We have to be. So we're out of a facility and into... A tomb again. <sighs> this is it. Might be a bit of an understatement. You can see the lot of cover locations. There's bullets. All kinds of things. Uh, can't climb up there. This is it in the sense that this is a trap. So we'll reload our gun and get ready. Going in full locked and loaded. This is like Indiana Jones type stuff. These figures, warriors, they're in Himiko's tomb. They protected her. And is this you? Were you some kind of general? You committed seppuku. Why? Ooh, do we get a sword? It's beautiful. It's still sharp. ritual was corrupted. The priestess knew only death could save her and took her own life. Now the first and last queen lives a half-life, a soul in a decaying body. Her rage became the storms and would not stop while her soul is tied to this earth. My storm guard are sworn to protect her. They must continue, but I cannot. trapped in a decaying body. That's what's causing the storms. To stop the storms, we need to destroy the body in the ritual chamber. How the hell am I going to convince the others? Really? No fight? She's in the old tomb. Shit! I've got to get out of here. Uh... Where am I supposed to be going? I guess I'm going this way. hide behind this dead body. He is bulletproof.
that guy doing? Why? Now, finally we can climb up here. Are they carrying swords? did I miss down there? I don't think I missed anybody's. So I can just go through the flames and exit. And that's what I will do next time. That's it for this episode. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name, Rido. That'll take you to my main YouTube page. On the right is the blue button that says support this channel. Click it and make a donation. And if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.